Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. My name's Austin and today I'm very excited. I'm going to be reacting to Jimin's Smeraldo Garden Marching Band featuring Loco. So I'm looking at it now. I'm just realizing it says official track video. But it's like three minutes and 46 seconds long. So I think it's the full song. It just doesn't say music video. It says track video. So I don't know what the difference is. Typically... I'm thinking of like NCT and stuff like that. When it says track video, it's usually not the full song. You know what I mean? It's it's usually like a concept or part of a storyline, which I'm pretty sure this is storyline related, right? Because in The Truth Untold, they talk about the Smeraldo flower, right? In the garden. And it's like, I still want you. It's like, the you know, sadness. Sadness. That song is so pretty though. I hope it's connected. Well, it's obviously connected because of the title. But I hope this song is like happy. Kind of like a sequel. Like I finally got the love that I wanted. That was like forbidden or like we just couldn't have it. But now like I'm in a different place. I'm older. I have more courage. I can just grab it. You know what I mean? Because I listened to The Truth Untold again just before this reaction just, and like I watched a lyric video again just to like read the lyrics again. That song is so beautiful. Um, but like lyrically, I guess I didn't realize how like longing and how sad it is. So I'm hoping this is like the opposite. Like it's all right. We good. So I'm excited to check this out. Um, I will obviously be reacting to the title track and the whole album as soon as it comes out. Um, but yeah, that, that's really it. That's it. I'm excited. There's seven songs on the album. So he's given us a full length. I don't know if they're going to call it a mini or whatever. Um, I really haven't been keeping up as much because I've been working so much. I did like 65 hours at my job this week. So that's why I'm a couple days late reacting to this. I apologize. Um, but yeah, let, let's just get into it. Jimin, I miss him. I'm excited to hear his voice. Uh, Smeraldo Garden Marching Band. I hope there's a marching band in the song. Like, I hope there's trumpets and a drum line. Give us, like, a little dance break. Come on. I, I will love that. As long as there's no Nick Cannon. I'm not talking about... <laughs> I'm not talking about that kind of drum line. Um, sorry. Sorry. No shade. Uh, all right, y'all. Anyway, this is Jimin Smeraldo Garden Marching Band featuring Loco. Sorry. I, I forgot how to do intros. I haven't recorded in like over a week, so it is what it is. I'm excited to hear the song. Let's go. Oh. It's kind of got like an old, like it's kind of filmed like an old movie, even with like the four by three aspect. It's kind of. Like Wizard of Oz, Sound of Music, like that old. I think more so Wizard of Oz because like the colors, the green, the gold, the blue. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's show. Does that, I, that sounds like Jimin's voice. I'm pretty sure that is Jimin's voice with the filter. I wasn't sure until I heard the, but <laughs> like the way that he does that, I've heard him do that before on like other words and stuff, just being cute. Oh my god, <laughs> what's about to happen? Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's cute, the call and response. Oh. <laughs> oh, and they had a harmony on the word harmony. Oh. 
<laughs> Why do you whisper that in my ear? Also, if this is Wizard of Oz, um, these munchkins are killing it with the dancing. Especially this kid back here with like the facial expressions and like the, the acting. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Is it just me or did that look like Mark? Mark Lee giving Jimin a flower? I can't be the only one who thinks that looks like Mark. Who is that? Let me know if you know from the side. That looked like Mark. Oh. Oh, is he like a matchmaker? I mean, it is Pride Month. You could have left her with her girlfriend, all right? <laughs> um, the album is called Muse. Amuse is something that's like a some something someone that like inspires creativity. I guess Cupid could be considered like a muse, and he's kind of like bringing all of these people together in the music video. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love you, babe. Yes, sir. Mm, I want you, babe. Oh. I wanna hold your hand. I want you, babe. Oh, this is cute. Look at that couch. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at that. Oh my goodness. The bubbles are reminding me of his, um, like the serendipity performance, but it also is just reminding me of Glinda from The Wizard of Oz because she's she like bl had bubbles everywhere and stuff. But I feel like the lyrics are kind of similar to um, Truth Untold. It seems like it's still kind of about like a not like a forbidden love, but you know what I mean, like a. But like here we're removing the restrictions. It's like, it's fine. Like I want you, you want, let's, okay. It's different. Uh, oh. The ad libs are beautiful. Or like, sorry, the background oohs and ahs are beautiful. I see the way you're looking at him, sir, on the little, on little bongo drums or whatever. Look at him, looking at Jim. I mean, I would look at him the same way, but. <laughs> also, sunflowers. Um, another like Wizard of Oz connection. Also, just like a connection to me, being from Kansas, the sunflower state. That's like our flower. So obviously, this song is a love letter to me. Like, obviously. Um. <laughs> Oh, they changed outfits. I love you, babe. Not take it to the bridge. <laughs> Sing it. 
Look at how much fun they're all having. That was so cute. That was so good. I'm confused though because it said, um, it says official track video. It doesn't say music video and it wasn't a performance video, but like this was a music video. So I don't know what the distinction is. Um, I'm used to like NCT or like track videos where it's not the full song and it's like usually storyline connected and it's like visuals kind of like a sampler, but this was the full song and this was a music video. It was super fun. All the dancers. So I'm not sure why it's called a track video, maybe because it's not the title track, right? The title track is coming in July with the album um that was so good i love the transition to nighttime Dance party, let's go. I love that. I love that. Um, so I'm going to have to watch other people's reactions, honestly, to see what other people thought about like the lyrics in the music video. I'm not sure on the music video. I really liked it. Um, I was definitely getting like old Wizard of Oz, Sound of Music, like musical type vibes, definitely getting that. Um, the song was totally unexpected. Um, I had a feeling it was gonna be something fun because just like even just with marching band in the title i felt like it would be more upbeat and fun it's definitely different than than like crazy but that's kind of i love that i had no idea what to expect i didn't even know what type of sound it was gonna be that was really good it just made me smile i just want to see what other people think about the music video because i did like it and i loved how he was kind of like bringing people together through the flower, I guess, because they were like giving, everyone was giving someone a flower. He was like, slide, he slid into the, the couple at the beginning and like bumped them into each other. But like the lyrics were definitely different than Truth Untold. This was way more like confident and happy and positive. And it's just like, I'm gonna like shout from the rooftops how much I love this person. You know what I mean? Whereas truth is told with truth untold was more like longing, like I want this, but it just can't be. So it still is kind of about like forbidden love, I guess, for whatever reason, but it's more like, I don't care. I don't care what other people think because that's how much I care about you. And I just want the whole world to know, you know what I mean? Um, that was at least my interpretation of it. And then Loco's rap part, um, it was good. I liked it. it. It definitely helped with like the flow of the song, like bridging it together um, and adding some variety. But that was very good. That was very good. I'm excited for the album. I've purposely been trying, well, I've been super busy, so I haven't even seen a, most of what's been posted on Twitter. So I don't even know um, like the timeline. I know it's coming in July. I think it's like the early middle of July, like the, I don't even know. I think it's like the 11th or something. Um, but I will obviously find out and I'll try to react to it as soon as it comes out. Uh, I'm very excited to hear all of the B-sides. 
I think when I was reading it, there was like a collab on there that was kind of unexpected. I think Sabrina Carpenter, maybe? Which I... Oh, no, Sophia Carson. Not like I know really who either of those people are. I know Sabrina Carpenter, but I don't know any of her music. I just know the name, and I know that she's, like, super popular. Um, Slow Dance featuring Sophia Carson, as well as Be Mine, Who, and Closer Than This. Oh, which dropped? Okay. There, so there's going to be songs on there we've already heard. It's a seven-song LP, July 19th. Rebirth, Interlude, Showtime, pre-release, we just listened to, Slow Dance, featuring Sophia Carr. So is that the title track? I think we're gonna, we're getting another music video, right? For the title track. Let's see. Oh, Jimin helped write six of the songs. Vintage old school cassette tapes representing each song. I saw that on Twitter, like the photos. Hip hop, R&B, leaning focus song, Who. Okay. Smeraldo Garden marching band draws inspiration from marching bands blending hip hop elements with big band sound. I love the big band sound for sure. Tommy Brown, who's written for Ariana and Justin. Okay. So we're getting we're getting some variety on this album um is what it what it sounds like. So anyway, I'm I'll be super excited to check it out when it comes out. Let me know your thoughts on the song, let me know your thoughts on the music video. Jimin looked handsome as always. I loved that hair color on him. Um Yeah, there wasn't a ton of like crazy choreo, but that was definitely not the point of this. This was like a feel good song and the choreo was more impactful because everyone was doing it at, all at the same time. You know what I mean? This is like a feel good song. I just want to make the world dance. Forget about the price tag. I love Jesse J. <laughs> but you know what I mean? This was just like, it made me smile. It warmed my heart a little bit. Um, we could have went in a little bit harder if we were, if he's going for like a Wizard of Oz thing, they could have went in a little bit harder. We could have asked Taehyung for Yantan, and we could have had him like, you know, Toto. You know, there was already a girl in the music video that was wearing like a little blue thing, and I was like, oh, that kind of looks like Dorothy, but her shoes were not red, so I didn't say anything. Um, <laughs> but anyway, let me know your thoughts on this. I loved it. I'll be back very soon uh, with more BTS videos, and of course, I'll be back when Jimin releases the album. So I'm going to go. I'll see you guys later. Bye.